So time to look forward now to the big championship encounter this weekend. It is, of course, live on Highland. Donegal against Derry at McCool Park in, in Bally Buffet. Championship quarter final. Declan Bonner, Donegal manager, joins us now. Good to see you again, Declan. Yeah, likewise, Oshin. Well, first question is relation to the to the injured party. Uh, and obviously, your captain, Michael Murphy. What's the latest on him, Declan? Will he be available for this weekend? And is he training at the moment? Yeah, listen, back on the pitch, and uh, we're very, very hopeful that he's going to be available, yeah. Um, and the, the other guys have all come back in the last week, 10 days also. So, uh, listen, we have a full, full deck to pick from uh, the weekend, which is great. Uh, a number of weeks back, we had a, a number of guys struggling with injuries, but the, you know, the medical team uh, with Cahill and, and the team doctors have uh, done a great job now. And, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the match this weekend, and, and uh, as I say, uh, looking like a full, full strength squad to pick from. Yeah, obviously, in relation to Michael Murphy, it's a huge worry for you, Declan. I'm sure it was when you seen him uh, looking to come off before half time in the down game. Yeah, listen, it's, it's yeah, it is, there's no doubt. It's been, you know, there's been a, a huge number of, of, of those type of injuries, uh, not just within the Gall camp, but within uh, a lot of the teams right around the country. You, you know, with the, the games coming very, very, uh, very quick, a uh, short running period when we got back on the pitch to put into National League campaign. So it, it brought its own uh, difficulties. but. You know, over the period, uh, as I said, the medical team has done a great, great work. And listen, any player that, 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 that's struggling with injury, you're always concerned. But, uh, you know, yeah, Michael Murphy is such an important part of the whole group that uh, you'd always want to see him back on the pitch. Yeah. Maybe was there too much made in relation to Michael's injury uh, in Park Esther? Because some quarters had thought that he shouldn't have been played if, if he was still carrying the knock from, from when he picked it up initially against Mayo. Was there maybe too much being made of it, do you think, Declan? Given the fact that it was well, Michael Murphy they were talking about, obviously. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, the media and, and, and people, you know, they're entitled to their opinion. But we, and no more than any other players carrying an injury, Oshin, not just Michael Murphy, but you have to go through the protocols. You have to go through uh, a series of, of testing. You have to be back on the pitch. So it's not a case of, of that, uh, you know, Michael's, you know, the chance he's going to break down, we'll risk him. That's not, not going to be the case. The medical team will come to us and say, he's either fit to go, he's fit to play, he's fit to play some part. And we're we're advised by by the medical team, and we make a a, a decision around that. But it's the same for for any player to come back from injury, uh, not just Michael Murphy. Yeah. So Orm McNeil is uh, okay as well, back training and, and looking good for the weekend. Yeah, listen, Orm's been back on the pitch yeah uh, over the last uh, 10, 10 days now, and, and uh, yeah, he's been looking sharp. And uh, uh, Oshin Gallon back on the pitch, Darrell Boyle. the guys are all back. Andy McLean uh, just got back there also. Uh, so yeah, no. Listen, it's good. It's good to get all those guys back, and and uh, yeah, the squad's looking fairly healthy yeah. at this stage. Yeah, it's good to have it then at this stage of the competition, Declan. So it is because the, the way Gaelic football has been played over the last uh, decade or so, it's it's vitally important that it, that it's a squad game. Like, yeah, there's no doubt, and and uh, I mean the strength of the squad has been tested. We used uh, thirty players throughout the national league campaign, and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's important that, as I said, we got those guys up to speed. We always knew there's going to be injuries. We're no different than, than any other squad. But uh, once that game finished in, in, in Uri, it was all systems going, getting ready for the challenge, Oshin, which we know this Sunday is going to be a huge, huge challenge for us. But, you know, it's one we're, uh, which we're looking forward to. Yeah, so what do you make of Derry then, uh, Declan? And I'm sure you've been uh, knuckling down and doing the homework on them since, since you left Park Esler nearly two weeks ago now. Yeah, listen, you know, we give Derry the same respect as we would give a Dublin or a Kerry or anyone else. We get we get work the work's been done in terms of their games played. They've been very very impressive. Ocean. There's no doubt about that. There, uh, you know they ran through uh, Division Three and you know they're back playing Division Two football. And to me, like they're a top ten team. Uh, there's no doubt about that. There, uh, a lot of really really good players. And I suppose if you look at their underage system over the over the years, their college system, their club system. I mean, it's always been top class, but. You know they've got the they've got their house in order in relation to the the, the seniors now at the minute and they're from a formidable side. There's no doubt about that there. Yeah, defensively, will you have to be on on your game at the weekend because we've seen what they can do up top and particularly when they've got somebody like like Shane McGuigan involved in their front three as well. Declan, they they pose a serious threat up top and going forward. Yeah, listen, uh, you know you come up against any of the top teams now. They're always going to have that attacking threat and. You know, Derry are no different. They have a number of really, really top class players like Benny Heron and the likes of uh, McFall, the Bradley, the McWigan, they have the uh, Nile Lachlan. So there's a number of really, really top class players going forward. And uh, yeah, we've got to be on our guard. And as I say, uh, 
there's two sides to every game and you know it's you're defending and and then it's your offensive play so we've got to get both sides right on on Sunday if we're going to get over the line and listen to us you we're just looking at if we can get over the line, whether that's by a point or whatever, next Sunday evening to get into the semi final. That's that's all we're looking for. Yeah. If you were looking for improvements from the down game, Declan, because we can't really look a while out into that because as we hit the, the half mark, the halfway stage in the game, um, it was really overdone and dusted at, at that stage. But if you're looking for improvements to tweak things, what sort of areas would you be would you be would you be focusing in from a Donegal really point of view, Declan? Yeah, listen, people look at, you know, we probably big score, but, you know, there's a lot of things we needed to get we need to get better on. There's no doubt about that there. And, you know, you touched on, you know, without the ball, we've got to be better. We've got to be um, a much tighter unit. And, uh, you know, at the minute, we, we play good good attacking football. And uh, But it's getting that balance right, Oshin, uh, between the between defence and, and, and attacking. You know, we've, we've been working towards it, not just in the last number of weeks, but over the last couple of years. And, you know, you've seen through the National League campaign where there's an awful uh, big scores being been shot up and, and a lot of teams now are really working hard on their offensive play but there's always that balance to get that right and, and uh, you know it's always working working progress and every night we go out we work on it and uh, every game we go out we want to improve on it and again next Sunday is going to be no different and we're going to have to get both ends of it right if we've got to attack well on Sunday actually, and we've got to defend well if we're going to get yeah. over the line yeah, um, I was speaking to Rory Geller earlier in, in the week at Declan and uh, I sort of said to him that he probably might be best positioned of uh, all the opposition to maybe mastermind upset at the weekend given the fact that he that he had such a big link with, with Donegal uh, in, in the past. From your point of view, given the fact that, that Derry are going to present a, a formidable opposition coming to Bally Buffet, do you have to alter your approach much? No, no, not, not really. As I said before, Oshin, we give the opposition the, the respect they deserve. I mean, Derry's a good side. There's no doubt about that. There's no getting away from that there. And uh, as I say, they are really, really good uh, uh, offensively, but also defensively, they're well set up and they'll be difficult to break down. So, uh, listen, we have been working on on, on that. And uh, what uh, the fact that Rory's there, you know, to us at that, you know, we, we played against him over the, over the years when he was in charge for Mana also. So, Listen, it's it's to me it's another match. It's uh, it's a it's, but it's going to be a really it's going to be a tight battle. There's no doubt about that. There, because I say Derry are a really good side. They're in they're in that top bracket within, within Ulster now, and uh, so it's going to be a really test for us, a real challenging test. We need to be ready for on Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Listen, Declan. Thanks for talking to us, and the best of luck this weekend. Your next championship outing. Okay. Listen, Ashin. Thank you.